I explain to them that I can't pay it on the out here on the ranch floor. But he said folks talk too much anyway. They don't mean to tell them on I thought maybe if I ask him in front of his wife, tell him how much of women folk like the telephone. Whoa! I don't know his what his wife wanted. They never made much difference to John Burke. I'll do, Mrs. Burke. It's cold, ain't it? I want to see John. Can I see John? No. Amy, home? Yes, he's home. Then why can't I see him? Because he's dead. What did he die of? He died of a rope around his neck. Harry! Has anyone been notified? Who did this, Mrs. Burke? I don't know. Weren't you sleeping in the bed with him? Yes. But I was on the inside. Someone slipped a rope around his neck and strangled him. Didn't you wake up? I didn't wake up. I sleep sound. How this ain't be? our business. We ought to let her tell her story first to the coroner or the sheriff. You go over to Rivers where they got a telephone. Wives are coming in a minute. I'm awful glad you could come with me. When she asked me to get some things for her, I wanted to oblige her, but I dreaded the thought of coming out here all by myself and waiting for the men. I'm glad you could come. I could never find the time to come see Minnie Burke. And now I can come. She 
removed from that chair over there to this one over here. And she just sat there looking down. I said that I'd come to ask John again about the telephone. And at that, she laughed. And she stopped and looked at me scared. What? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't scared. I wouldn't like to say it was. So Mr. Peters came, and that's about all I know that you don't. You're convinced there was nothing important here? Nothing to point to any motive? Nothing here but kitchen things. Here's a nice mess. Oh, her fruit. She worried about that when it turned cold last night. Said the fire would go out and her jars burst. Can you beat the woman held for murder and worrying about her preserves? Oh, her fruit, she may have something more serious than preserves to worry about. Women are used to worrying over trifles. Yet, for all the worries, what do we do without the ladies, huh? Not much of a housekeeper, would you say, ladies? It's a great deal of work to be done on a farm, Mr. Cook. Oh, to be sure. Yet I know there are some Dixon County farmhouses that do not have such roller towels. Those towels get dirty awful quick. Men's hands aren't as clean as they might be. Oh, loyal to your sex, I see. Well, you and Mrs. Burke were neighbors. I suppose you were friends, too? I've seen little enough of her late. Not been in this house since more than a year. What was that? Didn't you like her? I liked her well enough. Farmer's wives have their hands full, Mr. Cook, and that. Yes? Never seemed like a visiting place. Oh, I wouldn't say she had the homemaking instinct. Well, I don't know as Burke had it either. You mean they didn't get on well? No. I didn't mean anything. Just that I don't think any place would be the cheerfuler for John Burke's being in it. I'd like to talk to you about that a little later, Mrs. Hale. I'm anxious to get the lay of things upstairs now. I suppose anything my wife does will be all right. Of course, she's one of us. Oh, ladies, keep an eye out for anything that might be of use to us. There's no telling. You women might come upon a clue to the motive, and that's the thing we need. have men come into my kitchen snooping around and criticizing. Of course, it's no more than their duty. Duty's all right. But it seems mean to talk about her for not having things slicked up when she had to come away in such a hurry. Shame about her fruit. I wonder if it's all gone. Here's one that's all right. I declare, I believe it's the only one. It's cherries, too. She feel awful bad after all her hard work in the hot weather. I must be getting those things from the front room. Uh, are you coming with me, Mrs. Hale? You can help me get them.
Minnie is a girl. I knew her when we were young. She's one of the town girls. Dressed so pretty. I remember she used to sing in the choir. Right lively, too. She had a real sweet voice. That looks like a new barn out there. So it is. Well, it's cold in here. Let's go back to the fire. Burke was close. I wasn't poor. Arm did right well. I think that's why she kept so much to herself. I suppose she felt she couldn't do her part then. You don't enjoy things when you feel shabby. Was this all she wanted? No, she, she said she wanted an apron. Seems like a funny thing to want. Goodness knows there's little enough to get you dirty in jail. She said they were in this chest. I suppose if you're used to wearing an apron, make you feel more natural. And a little shawl that always hangs by the stairs. Mrs. Peters, do you think she did it? Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't. Asking for a shawl, worrying about her fruit? Well, Mr. Peters says that... Mr. Peters says it looks bad for her. Mr. Cook is awful sarcastic in his speech. And he's going to make fun of her saying she didn't wake up. Well, I guess John Burke didn't wake up either when they were slipping that rope under his neck. No. Strange. They think it was an awful funny way to kill a man. Mr. Cook says what's needed for the case is a motive. Something to show anger, sudden feeling. Well, I don't see any signs of anger around here. Wonder how they're finding things upstairs. Hope she have a little more red up there. You know, it's kind of sneaking. Locking her up in town and coming out here to get her own house to turn against her? But, Mrs. Hale, the law is the law. So it is. The law is the law. And a bad stove is a bad stove. How'd you like to cook on this? Person gets discouraged. Loses heart. You'd best loosen up your things, Mrs. Peters. I will not feel them when we go out. She was piecing a quill. It's a log cabin pattern. Pretty, isn't it? She, she must have been saving these pieces since she was a girl. I remember seeing her in this dress. Oh, she's gonna quilt it or just knot it? They wonder why she's gonna quilt it or just knot it. Let's go right out to the barn, see if we can clear up that question about the rope. I don't see there's anything so strange, our taking our time up with little things while we're waiting for them to get the evidence. Look at this one. Mrs. Hale. Just 
Loosen up a stitch or two. It's not so too good. I don't think we ought to touch anything. I'll just finish up this end. What do you suppose she was so nervous about? Well, I don't know if she was nervous. I so awful queer sometimes when I'm just tired. Well, I must be wrapping up these clothes. I wonder where I could find a piece of paper and some string. She have a bird? Well, I don't know whether she did or not. I've not been in this house in so long. There's a man selling canaries last summer, Cheap. I don't know if she took one, but well, she, she would have liked one. Seems funny to think of a bird here. She must have had one, though. Where else would she have a cage? I wonder what happened to it. Most likely the cat got it. No, she doesn't have a cat. She's got that feeling some people have about them, being afraid of them. And they brought her to my house yesterday. My cat got in the room and she was awful upset. Look at this door. It's broke. I don't like this place. I'm awful glad you came out with me, Mrs. Hale. It would have been lonesome for me sitting here all by myself waiting for the men. Not having children makes less work, but it makes for a quiet house. Wish I'd come over here sometimes. Wish I had. You mustn't reproach yourself, Mrs. Hale. You had a lot of things on your mind. Your house. Your children. And oftentimes we don't see how it is with other people until something comes up. Quiet house. Burke out to work all day. No company when he did come in. Do you know John Burke, Mrs. Peters? Not to know him. I've seen him in town. They say he was a good man. Yes. Good. Didn't drink. Kept his word as well as most. Paid his debts. He was a hard man, Mrs. Peters. Just to pass the time of day with him. Like a raw wind that gets to the bone. Should think she would have wanted a bird. But what do you suppose went wrong with it? Tell you what, Mrs. Peters. Why don't you take her quilt in with you? Might take her for mine. Well, that's a real nice idea, Mrs. Hale. I can't see that anybody could possibly object to that, can you? I wonder where she keeps her patches and her things. Maybe her things are in here. What a pretty box. Warren, she had this a long time ago, and she's a girl. Somebody wrung its neck. Ah, bird cage. Is the bird flown? We think the cat got it. Oh, is there a cat? Not now. Most likely run off somewheres. There's no sign at all of anyone having come in from the outside. It's their own rope. Let's go over it again, piece by piece. There have to be someone just going that door. Yeah.
when I was a girl. My kitten. There was a boy took a hatchet, and before my eyes, before I could stop him, if they hadn't held me back, I would have hurt him. I wonder how it would seem never to have had any children around. No. Burke wouldn't like the bird. But we don't know who killed the bird. I knew John Burke. It was an awful thing that was done in this house that night, Mrs. Hale. Killing a man while he slept. Slipping a thing around his neck to choke the life out of his neck. Choke the life out of him. No, we don't know. We don't know. Years and years of nothing. And a bird to sing to you. Be awful still after that bird was still. But the law's got to punish crime, Mrs. Hale. I wish you could have seen Minnie when she wore a white dress and blue ribbons and stood up in that choir and sang. I wish I'd come over here sometimes. That was a crime. Who's going to punish that? We mustn't take on. I should have known she needed help. You know, it's queer, Mrs. Peters. We live close together and yet far apart. We all go through the same things. It's all just a different kind of the same thing. If it wasn't, why do you and I understand? Why do we know what we know at this minute? If I was you, I wouldn't tell her if it was gone. Tell her it ain't. Tell her it's all right, all of it. Here, take that in to prove it to her. She may never know whether it was broke or not. It's a good thing the men can't hear us getting all worked up over a little thing like a dead canary. As if, as if that could have anything in the world to do with it. Why wouldn't they laugh? Maybe they would. And maybe they wouldn't. George, it's all perfectly clear. It's all perfectly clear, Peters. Except for the reason for doing it. You know juries when it comes to women. It was some definite thing, something to show. Something to build a story around. Something that will connect up with this clumsy way of doing it. I'll get the horses ready. It's pretty cold out there. I'm gonna stay out here a while myself. You send Frank out for me later. I wanna go over everything. I'm not satisfied. We can't do better. Did you wanna see what my wife is gonna take in? Oh, I guess they're not very dangerous things the ladies have picked out. No, Mrs. Peters doesn't need supervising. For that matter, a sheriff's wife is married to the law. Ever think of it that way, Mrs. Peters? Married to the law. Come in here a minute, George. I want you to take a look at these windows. Oh, yes. We'll be right out, Mr. Hepburn.
theaters, at least we found out that she wasn't going to quilt it. She was going to, uh, what is it you call it, ladies? We call it not it, Mr. Cook. Come along, Mother. I'm ready to give it Whoa. 